Hello, this is Freddy Veggie and tonight, this evening, we're gonna make a little experiment. Before I return to the parametric EQs and stuff, I have here my trustworthy Zoom H1 and we're gonna sync this. And what are we gonna sync it into? This guy here. So you may wonder what the point of this tube is. It's not going to be a didgeridoo. It's not going to be a budget recording didgeridoo extra large or something like that. This is actually part of a packaging of a real didgeridoo that I have. Um, one of Dubravko's didgeridoos, uh, which I hold very dearly and I want to protect for travels. So this is part of what I'm using to uh, armor it up. But what we're gonna be doing tonight is um, battery uh, some sort of battery recording XL, XXL, we're gonna see. So um, the point is the resonance is in the player, <laughs> not in the ditch. Okay, so I'm gonna sync my trustworthy H1 into this guy here while it's hopefully recording. I don't want to break it. Just slide it, slide it, slide it, slide it, slide it, slide it more. Oh god, okay. All right. And then I'm gonna take one of my trustworthy PVC tubes, get rid of the dog hairs, and we're gonna play on this part. Only we're gonna be using this tube as a resonance. So, so uh, there is me saying that I want to show that the resonance is about the player, not the tube, and then I'm pulling out this huge tube. What is that? Isn't that a contradiction? Well, yes, sort of. Uh, it always helps to have a resonance, but um, I'm using the longer tube to play into and not directly through it, so um, there's a difference, obviously. Rather than playing a tube connected to your mouth, um, you're playing into some uh, reverberant chamber, some little echo chamber or whatever resonance producer. The tube that I was playing into um, is to highlight what is coming out of my mouth and give it body and depth. So the point that I wanted to drive home is um, that it's not the tube that is gonna make you sound great. It's you yourself who's gonna make you sound great. It's your mouth that is producing the sounds. It's uh, your articulations, your breathing, your voice, your use of rhythm and skill that is gonna produce the great sounds, not the tube. Of course, any tube that is great will enhance what is already there, but it's not gonna produce something that is not there. In other words, if you take somebody like Andre or Dubravko and give them the shittiest piece of cardboard didgeridoo or whatever that you can find, they're still gonna blow your minds and play something that you can't fathom ever doing yourself. And well, I meet so many people who think that the next greatest didgeridoo will make them a better player. It's not gonna happen. The only person who can make you a better player is you yourself and the only way to do that is to play better. Have fun. should work fine. Thank <laughs> you. 